Okay. Can I start? May I start? All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it was actually a good number. It's a good number. Hi. Are you here for the training? Hi. Hello. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, okay. Uh, if it's okay with you guys, I'll start now. Hi. My name is Michael. I, I run this uh, engineers.sg. Uh, so today we're doing a volunteers volunteers training for the engineers SG uh, volunteers. So um, so that's me, my, Michael Cheng, and um, you can find me on twi on Twitter or Instagram. Who's music? Who's musical? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram and uh, uh, on Twitter dot com on this uh, handle. Um, Right. So, why is Engineers SG? Uh, Engineers for your for those who are new to this, uh, Engineers SG is a not-for-profit uh, community initiative. So, we created this to help uh, document the Singapore tech and startup scene. So, basically, documenting by video, we go to the we we provide this as a free service to all the local tech community. So, things like the JavaScript meetup, uh, the the Python meetup. Ruby meetup. These are all like programming languages, programming meetups. Uh. So we go there and kind of like cover their, their monthly meetups. And, uh, and then we also cover some startup related meetups as well. Um, so we go there and we set up our video cameras and we record. And usually it's uh, for, for those who have not been to a meetup before, it's usually it's a, uh, present, it's usually a presentation style. So somebody will be presenting a topic. Hi, um, you can have some more, more chairs here. So, you can, so, so it's usually uh, it's a presentation style meetup. So, but they will be presenting something on, on their on their laptop, either PowerPoint slides or programming. They'll be doing some live coding on the spot. At the same time, we also record their their uh, them talking. Uh. so we record the audio and video of them talking, and then we kind of put them all together into into one into one video package, so that can, they can people can see it. The purpose that we record this is um, so that people who don't can't attend the meetup can actually watch it. And it'll also be a good resource for anyone who's doing research on those particular topics. La. Hey guys, hello, there are more seats here. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh yeah, so um so essentially I started the, the this thing to also answer a question uh that, that many people that some people had. I went for a, a I went for a workshop uh once and uh a panel discussion and someone said ah, I cannot I cannot hire engineers, I don't know where the engineers are. I don't know where the software engineers are in Singapore. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not quite possible because I, I am surrounded by uh, people who are very smart and they're, they're software engineers. Like, well, how, how do you mean like, you cannot find them? Um, so it turns out, I think we had a marketing problem. So that not, that not people know about the tech meetups happening in Singapore at the time. So we, we felt that, I felt that having a video recording of the meetups would be one way to kind of like get the word out. So if you go to any of our meetup uh, videos, uh, usually it's on YouTube you find a link back to the meetup page. So if you found the video online through YouTube and you've liked that, the, you, like for example, you found a, a Ruby meetup video and you like the, uh, the way that the, 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 the guy talks about Ruby and you like to go for more of these kind of talks, you can then join the meetup group where this video came from, right? So uh, we started this, the first recording I did, ever did for this was in 2013. So it's probably in its, how many years already? I lost count, five, six years. Yeah, it's been, been quite a few years I've been doing this. Uh, so far, yeah. So, uh, so it started out with the PHP user group, which is the user group that I run, uh, right? Hello, hi, hi, have a seat. So um, yeah, so the engine actually started in 2013. So we started recording uh, first with one camera set up. So you can see here, there's only one camera. It's a bit dark, but I can hope you can see. It's a one camera setup. And uh, yeah, so today he has evolved into something a bit more elaborate, right? And uh, so again, it was created to answer the question, uh, where are the engineers in Singapore, right? So engineers actually seeks to be a place for where everyone gets, get, can get to know and learn and interact with the local uh, technology community. La. It's a more grassroots tech community. It's not really like company sponsored community, uh, tech, tech groups, but it's more like grassroots uh, from, the gr from the ground up. And usually these uh, meetups are actually free. If you have not been to any of this, they're actually free to go. And then they all list on meetup.com. So on the side, you can find a list of curated, a curated list of videos that we, we as a team recorded. So we are a bunch of uh, volunteers. So it's not, none of us are paid. Uh, although there's a company behind it just for the sake of like being able to hold the, uh, the, own the equipment and even to pay for things like the domain name and all that stuff. But overall, 
um, it's a not-for-profit kind of a initiative, and we are operate we operate mainly on the the kindness of volunteers as well as the time of uh, and the and the uh, willingness of the meetup organizers to let us record uh, the meetups, right? At the same time, on the website, you also find there's a list of events. We also get a set, get a list of, of like local tech meet events. And we call, we pull this data from meetup.com and we kind of curate them and show them uh, on the website. So it used it, it came from a website called webuild.sg, which we have kind of acquired. So we now it's now part of the engineers SG uh, list of sites. So um, right, so basically you can get uh, a bunch of tech meetup listing on the sidebar. If you go to the website right now, you will find a sidebar over here, which actually shows you all the tech meetups that are happening in Singapore. Right, and you go click on more events, which go to slash events. You find a whole bunch of also events happening in different type, different parts of the of the month and year, la. Yeah. So you find a lot of things there. Ours, ours is listed here. Yay. <laughs> yeah, and earlier today, um, you find that the tables are structured in a certain way. It's because we, I was recording another meetup or rather another event here, which is a Python workshop, which, is hap which happened here just before you before all came. La. Right. So we provide this as a free service to all the tech meetups. So these are a short list of sort of the meetups that we have recorded in the past. We also cover conferences. So uh, for conferences, we do charge a small fee to the event organizer, so as so that the money comes back to help us maintain our equipment, to uh, to replace uh, uh, defective parts, and to kind of like continue uh, uh, supporting the meetup. So we can do R and D. Sometimes we I do a lot of R and D to kind of figure out what, whether whether there are better tools out there for recording. So what you experience uh, and, and, and test and learn with later is our current. Uh, R and D results, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, some stats. So on our website, you find it with about three thousand over videos. On our YouTube channel, we have about ten thousand subscribers. Our website gets about eighteen thousand page views a month, and our YouTube channel gets about thirty-six thousand views per month. La. Yeah, we're also monetizing it with a small ad. La. So only each month we get about two hundred dollars plus sing. So yeah, and so far we've recorded forty over conferences. So like that's been the six years I've been around. La. Upcoming in, in uh, later in this month, there's a conference called Vox Days, uh, which is the focus of our training today. They're kind of like for, for those, some of us here are actually volunteers to help us to help us in the recording. We're recording four tracks, so we're doing four four different tracks in this conference. <coughs> we might also be covering the JS Conf, and there's also this uh, Women Who Code Asia Summit coming uh, later this year. I believe uh, Wow. Yao days, but Yao Singapore might also be covered here, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, so far, we've trained about 70 over volunteers, of which the active ones probably about less than 10, right? Yeah, I mean, everyone's got busy, and, and sometimes people go NS, for example, that kid over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so some, you know, after two years, it'll be rusty, I must, must train again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you're okay. Um, so this is how our website looks like, which I kind of showed you. So you go to engineers.sg, this is what you will see. Uh, you find a list of videos on the left, and you also find a list of events on the right. Um, you will notice uh, at the top, there's also links to <coughs> the diff uh, a list, a grand list of videos that uh, that we have we have uh, we have recorded so far. And you probably find conferences that we have covered here, and the groups. And organizations that we have covered so far. So these are all the different meetup groups that we have. These are kind of like a full list, la. Yeah, but there are also some videos that we should have not tagged to any group, so they're often. Um, uh, there's also the presenters. They are kind of like uh, you can find. We have a whole bunch of presenters here. Um, you can find this guy. He is the. Any any of you use uh, as bus uncle, the bus uncle oh. app. Yeah, that's that's his, that's how it looks like real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, quite a few other people here, lah. So, yeah, these are you want to get a sense of who the tech people are in Singapore. You can also look at this list. I can find one here in our list right now. His name is King Ming, over there, sitting over there. Yeah, Yo King Ming is one of our uh, star volunteers. Also, a prolific speaker. You can click on his link and see a whole bunch of the videos I have given. He has spoken at right, so that, that's him when he was in U.S. Uh, uh, studying for his pi private pilot license. Anyway, thirty-four videos, my friend. So quite a lot, there. <laughs> uh, I think the most, uh, Yeah. 
Uh, they also is of course you can see events and you can search for things you want to. And of course, if you really like what we do, you can also support us with a little uh, monthly contribution or one-time contribution. Yeah, so that you can help us with uh, maintaining our equipment and stuff. Uh, we also have a we also have a Patreon page. If you go to our home site. Uh, there's also a Patreon link. If you heard, if you're familiar with this platform, it's a uh, donation platform for like uh, good causes. So this is what we have so far, lah. So you keep it. You will you will you will sponsor us one dollar. You get a fuzzy feeling, and you may also get a warm hug. I I think one of these gives you gets you a warm hug or something. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yes, that's too. <coughs> That's that's our site, and we also we also on YouTube, so you can see our YouTube channel. Quite a lot of people there. Actually, that's that's the fastest way to actually find our content. I go to the YouTube channel. Um, some of the accolades that people uh, that the other presenters has given to us uh, as a testament of our R and D and how much how 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 advanced our system is. So uh, Ben Asher is a speaker at one of the conferences that we, we that we cover. It's called iOS Conf. Which is for iOS developers for iPhone apps developers. So essentially, the, by the time he landed in San Francisco, which is about a twelve-hour flight, uh, the videos are already online. So it's a testament to how fast our our production capabilities are, lah. Yeah. Um, so how do we do it? So essentially, how the way we do it is by streamlining the capture workflow. So it starts first with one camera in the past. So now we've kind of like evolved into a mishmash of a few high tech gear. Okay, not really high tech. Uh. <laughs> Good. But so definitely, it's very automated. <coughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's fairly automated. So first of all, we capture all the inputs. So the we I talked about uh, the, the 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 style of uh, things that we record is a presentation style. So usually somebody like like what I'm doing right now, I'm presenting with a with a, with some with a, some slides as well as um, I'm ge I'm gesticulating and speaking. So this is kind of like what we capture: the video of me talking, uh, screen my screen as well as the audio that I that I'm, uh, that, uh, that I'm of my voice, right, or whatever music that we're playing at the time. So we capture all this all this input at one time. Uh, and then we feed all the sources into a laptop, which is you can see in action over there right now. It's a laptop with uh, everything connected to USB. Um, and basically, we have a software video mixer that kind of lets us record, stream, and even edit the video feed live. So it's a free and open source software called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. So everything interact uh, connects to the laptop through USB, and we kind of like record, and we can even stream to YouTube, uh, Facebook Live, and a few other places. Yeah, and of course at the same time we can it's a video switcher, so we can actually switch and configure different scenes like picture in picture or like I want a full screen only only of my video of my face or I want to a full screen of the slides. Uh, I can do that in real time, and it's all recorded and and and, and captured. So through this, there's really no post production required. In the past, when I first started, I had like few cameras, and I got to go home and work till two o'clock in the morning just editing videos, which is crazy. Um, so nowadays we don't need uh, to have much of the post production uh, required. It's the only t uh, messy thing is actually that it makes uh, the setup a little bit more complicated, which is why we need a training for this to kind of like orientate you to our setup and our workflow. And the video files are usually essentially ready to be uploaded to the to YouTube at the end of the evening. So here's a visual illustration. It's like presenter's laptop, like what my what I'm doing right now. It goes through a HDMI output, and it goes to a splitter. So the video splitter basically has take, takes in one input, and has two outputs. Uh. So in our case, it's uh, so one output goes to the video uh, to the projector. In this case, is one is one is connected to the projector right now. The other part goes to our screen capture too. So the screen capture tool is uh, this is the red box over here. So it captures my screen in high resolution and high def. So it's essentially whatever whatever I'm doing on the screen right now is actually being recorded. And it's connected to a uh, recording laptop, which is sitting right there with in front of Kaho, right. And then as a presenter, um, I'm also capturing his. The presenter's voice, as well as the video of them speaking. So right now, you can see there's a webcam in front of in front of over here, capturing me speaking, and I have a, a wireless microphone in my hand. So this connects to all this connects back to the laptop uh, to some to a USB, 
and then there's a video a software video mixer here um, that which will let me uh, compile these things in real time right so in the evening i'll have a, a one video file and that one video file can then be uploaded to uh, engineers.sg um, traditionally as the video is ready i will only do one thing which is automated processing of the audio Sometimes because the presenter might be too soft or the recording was, was, was recorded in a very noisy place and we got to like do some audio processing to kind of like even out the sound. So we kind of like do that to kind of like, that's the only post-processing that we do. And after that, that goes up to YouTube. Once it's on YouTube, uh, into a playlist, we have a cron job that runs on our website that will actually pull the latest data uh, through the YouTube data API. So getting this data live, uh, I think at the top of the hour. So every, every hour you actually pull data from uh, YouTube uh, through the YouTube data API and then present uh, this data into the website. So that's where we can capture data, things like the title, description. Then we also link to the organization and presenter info and even add links to slides and links to the event page. All right. So it's all things that we kind of add um, to the uh, video. So that it's, it's uploaded to the website, you can see all these things there, right? <coughs> so as volunteers who are going for to record meetups, first of all, we, what, what we want to do is make sure that the, the meetup organizers are okay with us. So we actually have a schedule uh, that we use to kind of like manage all the different meetups that, that, we, that we desire to record. And we, and we also update the status there. So we actually, first of all, seek permission from meetup organizers to, to say, to ask them, hey, can we record your meetup? And to make sure that the presenters are also comfortable with us recording them. La. Yeah. So if the presenter is not comfortable with us recording them, then we don't. It's fine. Um, so volunteers will, like you will need to sign up for a meetup slot they want to help out with. And once and then after you have uh, you have put your name there, we'll allocate you a recording set. So the recording set is basically like one of these uh, suitcases right right below me. So these suitcases contains all the equipment you need to do the recording. So as a volunteer, you collect the set like a day before, or even on the day or the day itself, and then go for the meetup. Usually, meetup happens around seven, uh, six thirty to seven, thereabouts. So if you have, uh, if you have, you have a day job. Usually, you just go straight from work, uh, right? So it's best to collect it the night before, then you can bring it there. Uh, and you should ideally reach the meetup maybe half an hour before because the uh, the time needed to set up the equipment it takes a while. Well, a more experienced person like me take, can do it probably in. 15 minutes, um, but if you're uh, first time doing this or not so experienced, it's, uh, it takes about 30 minutes. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is how the, the page, uh, the thing looks like right now. Let me just show you the link. So this is a Google Sheet. Uh, we'll have that, okay. Um, right, so it's, it's on Google Sheet and you can find that the uh, different tech meetups are listed here. So currently it's a hand curated list. I copy and paste from the event, uh, engineers.sg slash events and copy and paste here, but I try to automate it in the future. So what happens here is that you will find uh, links, uh, the day in which it's happening, uh, the, time, the time, the location, uh, the group is recording for and the event. Uh, it's usually just the meetup of, for that thing. And you have volunteer one and two that's listed here. So volunteer one and two will basically be, uh, ideally I hope to have at least two volunteers per, per meetup. So at least you don't get too flustered when things go wrong. So at least there's someone help to help you. Especially if the setup, you have two persons doing a setup, also can be done faster. La. So what you do is you put your name down for like which, which event you're recording. And then uh, there's also a link to the meetup page if you are unfamiliar with the location. Sometimes, as I said, this is actually updated manually. So they may have changed location without you knowing. So, or rather without us knowing about this. So it's best to check with the page that what is the current uh, meetup location. So right, like this um, example of this one in, uh, on the 15th, uh, we have, uh, a, you will have a meetup for the JavaScript meetup, Singapore JS, it's a, it's a Microsoft and uh, we have one volunteer who's, who's volunteered for it, which is uh, Edson. And then we've allocated one of the sets. So the, our recording set are, are labeled with a number, like one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like. It's based on the sequence in which it was created. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so we have a couple of sets that are on in, in, uh, in use right now. 
Um, so essentially, uh, once this is uh, your name is here and a set has been allocated, so you just come to Hackerspace, which is where we store most of our equipment, and you can pick up the equipment and bring it to the to the meetup uh, uh, location, right? Any questions so far? No. Okay. So um, so once the recording is uh, finished. Uh, so at the end of the day, at the end of the evening, the uh, meetup is done, you've done the recording, you know, uh, what you do is you copy out the file and upload to our volunteer site. We have a volunteer site uh, that's meant for uploading your files. Uh, so it's upload.engineers.sg. So you, once you go there, you can like uh, uh, drop the file in and then it will appear on engineers.sg within an hour. Yeah. So essentially you go to the website, you, can, you have to find the meetup that you just recorded. It's usually listed there somewhere. Like. If it's not, just, just click on plus to edit. And you basically uh, include the title, the description, and, uh, and, and, info and then the link to the meetup page, uh, then you can uh, upload it. So once it's uploaded, uh, then you can just uh, return the set. Usually what pe some people do, like what King Ming does is that at the meetup location, if there's good Wi-Fi, you can actually start uploading as you're packing up. So that's also one, 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 work, one workflow they can try. Otherwise, if there's no, if the Wi-Fi at the location is kind of bad, you just copy out using a thumb drive and bring home and upload it from home now. Let me show you how the site looks like right now. So yeah, I won't tell you the password now. <laughs> so anyway, once you're logged in, uh, you can find out the upcoming events. So they are listed here. Right, and then uh, you can click on, I say I want to record, I want to upload for uh, maybe this one, for example. I click on upload video, you actually pre-populate with the title of the event, and then the speaker, and then so on and so forth. And it also includes the event URL, so the event page URL here. Which is kind of handy. <coughs> so once it's, done, uh, once it's here, you click and you can edit it, you can actually edit things. Like here, I don't need to... For example, I don't need to show all these things, right? For example, I can just, uh, I can just remove things that I don't need to show, like all this garbage and whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so uh, as an example, lah, right? So when I say my coach, uh, for example, right? And then uh, you can update the event names and all that. And once it's done, you click on Browse, uh, View, uh, Video File, and just look for the file, which is usually an MP4 file. Once it's there, click Upload, it will just upload to the site, and it should be ready uh, to... It will, it will show that it's uploaded, and then you go through a few, a few things. So uh, once it's uploaded on the site, uh, it's, a, it's a Rails app, if you're interested. It's a Rails app, it picks up the file, it, does the, it has a background job that kind of does the audio processing, and push the file to YouTube, and then add it to a playlist, and then that gets put by the engineers.sg site. Yeah. So that is, this is automated. Uh, this is only provided if your file is less than 1.5 gigabytes. La. So if your file is bigger than 1.5 gigabytes, then there's another workflow, but I'll tell you about that when you get there. <laughs> right. Um, usually, um, right, so once you're done the recording, uh, you try and re return the set as soon as possible. La. Right. Sometimes the set are being used by the, uh, the next uh, the next day by another volunteer, so it might be helpful to re return it the same night if you can. Otherwise, you can return it the next day. Or if you're covering another event, then you can also bring it along with you, up to you. Um, then you can also inform the Telegram group. So we have a Telegram chat group for all the volunteers. Uh, we have about how many people in there now? I can't remember. Thirty people in there, maybe. Forty-one. Forty-one, ah. Uh. So many now, ah. Uh. Wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, mm. <laughs> so some of the, some of the open source uh, resources is like you can check out our web, our wiki. We have a wiki page that we where we document some of our our R and D progress uh, pros, uh, progress. Um, so how we do our recording as a little uh, as a little um, walkthrough of the hardware that we use and the software that we use, and a little schematic of how we do it for a normal meetup. La. This is a basically a, a, what I show you, the, the, the visual, here's a schematic. For conference, we actually do have a slightly different uh, setup, um, which I probably won't go through today, but uh, yeah, essentially, there's a, it's slightly different. Uh, the camera, instead of using a webcam, we're using a, a video camera. Right? So there's only difference uh, between the uh, actual 
uh, uh, regular meetup as well as uh, current and uh, for conferences. There's also a guidebook that I have written. So the guidebook includes things like the packing list, um, a visual guide of like what things needs to be set up, set up procedure. Uh, also another again a schematic of uh, the thing. And when you start recording, how do you what are the things to look out for? Um, and troubleshooting. So usually things can go wrong when you're doing the recording. So sometimes you find uh, some of our volunteers will actually stop the meetup, the presenter, because we have some problem with our recording setup. So I ask them, please stop for a while while we fix something, I fix it, and come back to the normal program. So it happens quite a few times. Right, King Ming? What? I thought it was Ming. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when things do go wrong during presentation, uh, we do sometimes stop the presenter for a short while, right? We, pa we pause them for a while, la, right? Yeah, mm. once in a while. And yeah, uploading uh, a few other things. So uh, there's a full guide over here. So you forget anything I talked about later to today, you can still refer back to this for, for more details. Um, so the, uh, again, there's also an alternate list of recording options. Uh, which talks about the, our different phases in our R&D, how we started with a single camera or, ca or, ca or camera phone and then with screen grabbers and video mixers and so on and so forth. So it's a few other, so you can see our progression from our, our, our humble beginnings in 2013 all the way to now, so how we've evolved. Um, yeah, so this is a very useful uh, resource to check out. You also find, yeah, you also find there's some other things here like, like our scripts. So what sort of nice things that we've done also is to include a bunch of uh, shell scripts they can use to do editing. So like uh, I talk about the audio processing, right? So this is uh, the script that we have. So you have a folder full of like video files and you just use this uh, script called multinorm.sh. They will basically go through all the files and kind of like do the audio processing of all the files inside the folder. Uh, you want to remove the front part of the video, you can just use this script. You want to remove the back part of the video, you can use this script. Um, we want to join multiple files. There's also a process you can do this. Like sometimes when you're recording, you have to pause halfway because you're fixing some problem or your or the Windows laptop crash because it's Windows. Okay, it doesn't happen as often now, but yeah. So when it does happen, then you need to kind of like join them or fix them, stitch them, stitch them together. So use this a uh, little uh, handy script that teach you how to do this. The this is actually optimized for Macintoshes and Linux because it uses two. Uh, tools called uh, SOCKS for audio processing and FFmpeg for video processing. So for the software engineers, you know, miss, this is, yeah. So you're using a Mac, you're, you're in a good place to use these scripts. Uh, we don't have a Windows version yet, so maybe there is. There's a Windows version for this, I don't know, we'll see. Once the WSL2 comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also generate thumbnails with this. Uh, you can also convert a TS file to MP4. There's a few other things here. So yeah, some scripts, some nice things, yeah. Um, right, so that's the, there's, oh wait, there's also a little thing I added, um, engaging engineers SG. So for any meetup organizers want to engage with us, uh, there's also some ways for rec video recording, you just email us and we can probably find, help you, help you at uh, your event to our list. For conference recording, our, our published price is 1,005 per track per day. So it's like a four-track conference. It's about thousand five per uh, thousand five times four and times two days. And uh, but we give a discount. <laughs> we usually give a discount. This is just a reference. Reference. Um, yeah. And of course, how to how to join us as a volunteer. Um, right. So any questions so far? No. How am I? Am I going too fast? Too slow? Are we Are we okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, and then of course our website is actually available online as well, so you can go see the source code is here. Oops, don't see the vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's put there some pull request to fix that. Never mind, we'll fix that. It's a Rails app, so you can look at that. Uh, and of course, uh, the software that we use is called OBS, so you can go to OBS project to kind of have a look at it. So essentially, it's like a video mixer like this. So we have things like different scenes, so it's a combination of, of sources. And sources are basically video source, like video source, background, whatever, uh, audio, and then uh, you can see the layout here. So you can arrange the scenes in different ways, right? Um, so yeah, that's the... 
That's some of the resources that we have. And some of our teams in action. So this, as I said, we've been doing this for a couple of years. So when we first started this, is a single camera uh, setup. So we have a camera there and we point it at the speaker or we point it at the, or the slides so that the resolution isn't very, very good. So we try to like evolve from there. Uh, the first conference we recorded was in 2014. There was a uh, conference called Geek Camp SG. So it's like a bar camp for geeks. Um, yeah, quite interesting. Anyway, and we do we do recordings of roughly our typical setup. So we have like laptop and cameras and stuff everywhere. Um, and we usually have the cam video camera, like this one is pointing at me, so it's a webcam. Um, we also use different kinds of cameras for like conference recording. So if you're recording a conference, we actually use a proper Sony webcam where they can zoom in and out. So that gives us a better, better quality image of the speaker. Uh, Every Media Live Gamer Portable, this is the name of the device that we use for screen capture. This is actually used by gamers to record their gameplay. So like you use Xbox or, or PS4, you use this to record their gameplay. So this is how to use it. Uh, and we do all the video mixing on the laptop. So the Windows, usually we use a Windows laptop because the Ava Media, the driver for Ava Media works best with Windows. And yeah, that's the way it is. Um, right, and, and we also use a lapel mic, like what I'm using right now. So this is uh, it's good for uh, speakers who tend to walk around. So we try, to have, we try at first to use like a stationary mic like, like this one. Um, but speakers tend to get up and walk around. We call them walkers. <laughs> yeah, and then, then we have to chase them with the webcam, like left, right, left, right. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, with a lapel mic like this one, is actually better for like uh, audio quality. Um, so what the we also use a sound mixer sometimes, but I don't think we use it right now. We only have one set that uses this, but it's a physically. Uh, it's a physically a uh, permanent fixture some, at an some, at, at office right now. Nah. Um, audio re we some t we, in the past, we also have audio recording for as a backup, just in case the main system conks out. Um, and we use carrier cases. So these are the, previously, we were using luggage like this. So these are quite huge. The first ever thing we tried was a shopping bag. Um, but that broke after two outings. The wheels broke after two outings. So we, and I had to change. I changed it twice before I decided. No, no, we probably should get a proper luggage to do this. So as you can see, it's a, But our current iteration is a smaller luggage, la, So it's not as big as but and bulky as that. So as we found a way to like miniaturize things because technology advances. <laughs> And sometimes you do have a cable cable management problem, so because they're too much, so be careful when you're when you're volunteering with us. Make sure that you don't trip over your your cables and stuff. Sometimes when we're doing a uh, at conference recordings, we usually tape down our cables so that so that no one will trip over them, uh, because we know we're going to be there for like a couple of days or what a full day, so it's better to do that. For meetup, it might be a bit hard to do this, but you know, just be be mindful of it. So what's in our bag? Uh, I'll show you what's in our bag later. But essentially, um, one of the key things that we have are video adapters. So what we do, what these are basically, uh, because our, as I showed you earlier, our entire system is uh, HDMI. So, but not all laptops are created equal. <laughs> Some yeah. laptops have a HDMI like like this one. Uh, the newer MacBook Pros only have a USB-C connector, and there are some very old laptops that only has a VGA connector. Um, I'll show you what all these connectors look like later, but this is uh, essentially some of the things in our bag that we can use. Um, so with this, we can probably adapt to a lot of different types of presenters. And during the conference day uh, or for Vox days, you probably have a diff many types of, of present presenters coming on stage. And you, it's best to be mindful and know what kind of adapters that we have and we, that we can use. Uh, again, some of our volunteers in action. This is actually us recording <coughs> Vox, uh, uh, Force Asia 20... When was this? Uh? 20... 2014 or 15? 2016. 2016. This is at, on the left, this one is in that Science Center, the first time we were at Science Center. Yeah. And that is uh, Beyond, Valentine, and uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, they were calling a Python meet, a Python conference, PyCon. PyCon 2014 or 2015. You mean you were at NUS? Uh? You were at NUS. No, this is at uh, Poly. What are the Polys? Oh, SB. Singapore Poly, yes. Anyway, and some of us uh, were, were volunteers. So, um, one of the benefits 
of a uh, of a volunteer with us is that you get to if we're recording a conference and you and you are interested in the conference and you're volunteering with us for the conference, you get to go to the conference for free, right? So which is what I'm offering to some of the volunteers now. So again, for, uh, as I said, each each uh, each unit should be manned by at least two persons, right? Uh, and then uh, for Vox days we have four tracks that we're recording, so four times two eight. Ish, we can we can probably we, we'll, I'll probably be roaming around, so I try not to be fixed in one place. So probably be nine or ten people that we can kind of like bring accommodate in the in the conference. Yes, you're ah uh, yeah you're there, there your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah another one over here. Yeah, that's me. yeah. So uh, yeah, when we we also. We're all volunteers and we try to have fun as we're doing this and I try my best to, to make sure you're all uh, are comfortable. Um, we also have a, uh, I also have a policy of reimbursing you if you need to take a cab to the venue. Condition being you are, you are carrying one of the recording sets, right King Ming? <laughs> Condition being you have to be carrying one of the recording sets and you return, you'll bring it to a conference or a meetup or bring going home uh, uh, from the meetup, and or, uh, especially if you if the recording ends up being very late, la. So just let me know. I'll, I'll try to reimburse you, but be be kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, we are not for profit, so we don't make a lot of money. Um, so a lot of the equipment that we buy are also not cheap. So some some of them like this 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 uh, wireless uh, mic is cost about four hundred over dollars. Yeah, and the the red color. Sound, sound card over there, the red color box later I'll show you is about 200 plus dollars. So it's not cheap, but we go for good quality stuff. La. So if you, if you hear this recording later, you know how, how good the quality is, right? So we, I think in, if you have experienced watching videos on YouTube, have you been irritated by bad audio and all that stuff? So which is why I think we want to be, it's best that we invest in good audio systems as well, right? Um, right, and um, yeah, that's us. So next, uh, part of this uh, training is actually walk you through the equipment that we have, la, right? Um, you can stop the recording. La. <laughs> <laughs>